Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we are going to look at the 10th episode of Season 4 of Outlander, The Deep Hearts Core. So, what happened last episode? Oh, yeah, Jamie beat the living hell out of uh, Roger, thinking he was the one that raped Brianna. So, um, let's find out what happens after this episode. I'm looking forward to these last couple. You guys said they're really wild, so let's do this. Sing. Did I tell you my little six-year-old autistic grandson loves this song? He can sing it by heart. <laughs> oh, they got their still going, huh? Making some moonshine. What happened? We accident. You know, still. Your mother told me what happened. Did you get them right? Do you hate me, Da? Hate you. An unwed pregnant daughter can't be what you hope for. Why would I think less of you for something you didn't do, but it was done to you? Not that he'll want me now after what's happened. And I will travel through time myself to tell him. <laughs> but I could have been brave. I could have fought. Rihanna, Rihanna. I hate myself for what happened. You couldn't have stopped him. I could have tried harder. And you could have died. Yes, of course you wanted it. I'm thinking you may be playing with the truth a bit, lass. Maybe it wasn't rape at all. Ooh. Maybe you took it a slight to a lad and made up the story after. Ooh. You think I'm lying? You'd be the first lass to make a mistake and try to hide it. Ooh. Maybe, maybe you enjoyed it. <gasps> oh. Huh? Is that what you got in your ass, huh? Get off of me! We could end your life here and now. Could you stop me? No, nope. he's trying to prove point to you. Answer me! No! There you go. Oh, and you couldn't have stopped him either. Nope. How did you he's... make yourself a coward? Because you couldn't have fight off a wolf with your bare hands. Right. The courage not to fight. If you did, he would have killed you. Yeah. Definitely. Did you fight back? Against Ooh. Jack Oh! Yikes. Mama told me about him. Oh my god, she told me. What him. happened at Wentworth? What? I gave him my word not to fight. For your mother's life. Wow. I'll do the same again. I've been wondering if it would help. If I killed the man who did this to me. And you'll have killed the man before. I think I can, don't you? And what will you get back? I think you'd get yourself killed if you tried to do something foolish like that. So take him with me. I did kill Randall. Finally. At Clodden. At Clodden, man. Mm -hmm. I woke on the moor, oh yes. A corpse on top of me. Mm. Did it help? The okay. vengeance didn't seem so important then. If he was dead, maybe I could forget. Mm -mm. You never forget that. You will not forget. Mm -mm. I've been right. You don't forget that. I'll let you heal. Is that Roger? Ian gave him to the Indians? Oh my gosh. No way. I estimate that though we're walking slowly, we are walking all day, so perhaps 10 miles each day. And we're going almost due north. I could do it. Get rid of the baby? No. It would have to be surgical. I don't have the right herbs. And Brie, if you want to keep this baby and go back to your life, then you would have to go now. Now? Why? Well, you can go through pregnant. And we know this because I went through with you. I forgot all about that. She did. To go through with a baby in your arms? Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, cousin. Let me help you with that. Are you sure? Hi. Right. Stay brother. I'll take it over the way for you. Thank you. Come, Rolo. Smitten with your lass? <laughs> He's my cousin. 
Can all be smitten with cousins in your time. It's uh, not encouraged. <laughs> Boy, I must say, I'm glad I was born in the 20th century. That would have been a hard life. Oh, I remember hanging clothes on the line. I'm 62, so we used to do it like that when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. And we did have washing machines, though. I'm pregnant. And I don't know if it's yours. I hope it is. Oh, God. I always wanted to be a father. She's in, having a nightmare. <laughs> I was a my eye. It's another nightmare, is all. I kinda hurt you now, mistress. Still, no. He will know. I can promise that. Oh, she's gonna tell her. I can't act. It's all mistress. You know something. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's gonna something freak out. You're not telling me. He was here. What are you talking about? I saw him on the road. I told your dad. I told him who it was. And what he'd done. And your dad beat him. Nearly beat him to death, he did. And he had Ian send him away. See, so she's thinking, how do you know? How do you know what he looks mm -hmm. like? I saw him with my own eyes. Did I not see him come after you and grab you outside of the tavern? Oh, see, now she's going to... Yeah, that's not the right man. Who is it you think did this to me? Where is Roger? Oh, Jesus. Lizzie told me Roger was here and Jamie beat him. I saw if Roger went back. Yeah, I saw so too. But he didn't, did he? He don't know Roger. I shoot him. Your hand. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, it's true, isn't it? I think I'll uh, wait outside. Come on. I... No, no you... he stays. Exactly. He was involved in this too. Weren't you cousin? Uh-oh. Jamie, what have you done? You said he raped you of your virtue. Wrong man, Jamie. To think I was defending your honor. And now I come to find you claim yourself violated on finding yourself a child. Ooh. I was violated, you self-righteous bastard. Yes. By Ooh. someone else. You beat up the wrong man. You beat up my husband. Oh, I know she feels like dog crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, Liza. Go to hell. Ooh. That's not nice. Make it right. You have my words. It's your father. My father would never have said the things you said to me. Ooh. He was a good man. Ooh. Nothing but a savage. Oh. Don't say that. Please. He's not. You don't know. Oh, you're going to make him feel like total dirt. And what did he, Ian, what did you do with him? You gave him to Indians? And who was it? Who attacked you, cousin? Oh, shoot. <laughs> it was not Roger than you. Go ahead, tell him. It was him. The Bonnet. Stephen Bonnet. The Bonnet? Mm hmm. Yep. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Where the hell is Roger? Oh God, he feels like dog crap. With the Mohawk. With the who? I, I, I sold him to the Mohawk. <laughs> you sold him? Oh crap! Ooh! Bree, I thought you violated your cousin. Yeah, I understand. Thanks. I'm so sorry, Mistress. That's all your fault. Should be. Accidentally. But. No! No! You do not get to be more angry than me! 
Now, how do we get Roger back? Where do the Mohawk live? They were, they were only passing through, trading with the Cherokee. So we go after him. Bree, it's at least 700 miles from here. Start walking. The Cherokee say the Mohawks are fierce and honorable. And the ones I met seem so. They won't kill him if he's of use to them. It's said that they adopt folk into their tribe in order to replace those that are killed or die of sickness. Uh, pretty much. Aye. It was, I suppose. But now, this will help us find their village. Aye. Aye, your cousin and I will find him. We'll trade all we have. Whiskey, cloth, coin. You think I'm letting the two of you go and find him alone? Yeah. You're insane. You've done enough damage. We're all going. They're more than a week ahead of us. If they didn't stop, we'll be lagging behind for months. So we'll go faster. Not with our last sweet child among us. I haven't even decided yet about. I have. I'm keeping it. Oh, good, 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 good. Are you sure? Yeah, because if there's a chance, it's Rogers. Rogers. Thank you. Right? You got to keep it. Could be. And you love your own baby. It's I'll half your years. I'll keep chance it's his, then. Yeah. I'm going to keep it. Not just for him, but for me, too. Good. And if it's not his, then I love it anyway. Yeah. After everything those two have done, can you look me in the eye and tell me you trust their judgment? Right. <laughs> you have to go. I'm to cast them. Yes, good idea. Good idea. She can stay she with her. Priest. But whoever runs in the wrong direction will never catch up with the Mohawk. I'll take her. Oh, good, 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 good. I remember Jocasta from New York. It's been an age, but I remember. You know how hard that would be for, going to bring him back to me. for you as a mother not be there when your daughter had her baby? Oh, my God. Especially Claire being a doctor. I knew it was Stephen Bonnetty had said no to me. You're telling me you hit a tree. No, well, you said that. I, I just let you believe it. I didn't want you thinking. Mm. Claire! You two are in the doghouse. <laughs> Both of you. I must find Stephen Bonnet. The man who... Uh, bring him to me in secret. Or kill him. Well, we knew that was going to happen. Sometime. Poor Ian, I bet he feels so bad. He's such a sweet kid. <laughs> I thought he left me, Marla. But he didn't. He came back for me. Yes, he did. <laughs> but this baby might not be his, and he deserves to know that. Auntie Claire, we're ready. And we're ready as well. Oh, it's going to be so hard. <laughs> you have to bring him back to me. For my part in this calamity, I want you to know if we didn't find him. It would be my honor to take your hand in the holy sacrament of marriage. Get off your knee, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him going head down. Poor baby. I will find him, Wes. I will not rest until I do. If he give you his word, he'll bring him back. I'll hold you to that vow. Mm -hmm. He doesn't break his word. I'm so sorry, Mom. For what? For making you leave me. <laughs> oh, my. Walk on. Next time you see her, you're going to be a grandma. I hate that you're not going to be there. God bless America, Roger. You look rough. Woo. Can you imagine walking 700 miles? Lordy. 
Ah! Oh, God, you're going to pull your hand off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, don't yank it by his hand. Oh, it's going to pop off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my God. Oh, good Lord. Damn. Oh, that wood in there is just beautiful, isn't it? Wow. May I help you, sir? Here to see Mistress Cameron. A letter, Mistress, from your nephew, written in his own hand. Read it, please. Mistress. It says this letter is carried to you by my godfather. Marta Fiskibbons Fraser. Marta. <laughs> Is it you? Tis. Blessed bride, come closer. Oh, oh hi. I'd know those hands anywhere. <laughs> they... You must have taken careful note of my hands to recall them after 30 years have passed. <laughs> How could I not? You could hardly keep them from my sister every day of her young life. Yeah. Every time a little good it did me in the end. You gained a godson, as I recall. <laughs> and I did. <laughs> Who else is here? Brianna. Jamie and Claire's daughter from Boston. Daughter. It's a long story. <laughs> and what else does this letter convey, Ulysses? <clears throat> Says that I am with child and unmarried. It asks that you look after me, more or less. That is about the extent of it, mistress. <laughs> it's a soap opera. <laughs> oh, my sweet girl, come here, close to me. <laughs> Of course, you may stay with us. <laughs> Dear sweet girl. <clears throat> oh my, do you hear that buzzing? Uh oh. There's more stones other places, huh? Wow. No way. Wow. Oh, that gives me chills. That music. Oh. But where do you end up, though? Is every stone different? You still got the little stone? Oh, two little stones. And where are you going to end up if you do that? You can't guarantee you'll end up in the same time you were, can you? He ain't going to leave, Brianna. No, don't do it, Roger. Oh, crap. They're going to end it there? Oh, God, that drives me nuts when they do those things. So, we're not going to know anything until we go watch the next episode. So, um, leave your comments below and uh, subscribe if you haven't. I sure would appreciate it. Trying to get to a thousand and then infinity and beyond. So, uh, you just click the little button that says subscribe. Then click the little bell so you get notified. Like the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.